Grit, The Power of Passion and Perseverance. Perseverance is a book that was written by Angela Duckworth. In this book, she talks about four psychological assets that were found after extensive amount of research to find the real reason why people fail and why some other people succeed in what they are seeking for. These four psychological assets are very powerful. They are actually the assets on which your success, determination to carry on, to pursue a career in language, whether that's an interpretation or translation or being an international coach, all of these factors are really important. These four assets are the essence of this book that's called GRIT. Now, we are going to briefly talk about these four elements and why they are important. Now, the research suggests that there are four psychological assets behind GRIT. Now, each of these components can be developed by yourself from inside out or with external help from an outside in interest or loving what you do. Let's take an example of language that you really love and you have really true passion about which is, in our case, English. Now, English is really important. It's actually detrimental to your future success and being, you know, climbing up the ladder of success in your career or in your profession or anything that you do actually now. Now, most of research in the world right now supports the fact that English is really not going to fade away by the coming years. Actually, it's gaining more popularity with the presence of so many applications and so many companies. So finding your interest in language is really detrimental psychological asset for you to be successful in this language. And when I'm talking about your interest, don't just go and target grammar or vocabulary or listening or speaking. No, this is not the shortcut to learn English. The shortcut is to ask yourself, what am I interested in? in and I want to discover more by the means of language, whether that's, let's say, cameras, technology, software engineering, agriculture, jurisdiction law, all of these elements and many others are really important for some people to have the passion and interest about. Once you determine that, we move to the second psychological asset that will help you develop a very cemented ground where you can launch your rocket of progress in language. Number two is practicing. And practicing is the focus on improvement no matter what. And you have no idea how practice is really important. Some people lose the fuel of perseverance because they do not have sustainable schedule for practice. Practice is the element that will take you from point A to point B in your progress in language. Purpose and interest are intersecting with each other. But purpose for me is far from being simple interest. Interest is the gateway, but purpose is the vision where you want to be. Purpose is believing strongly that your work matters to yourself and to others. And this usually happens after years of cultivating your interests and honing your abilities for practice. And purpose is really important because if you don't have purpose, you are not going to know where you're heading. Now, cultivating your interests and honing your abilities are essential psychological elements and practical elements. They're built on certain plan that you follow day by day, week by week, month by month to get to the vision of where you want to be. The fourth psychological element or psychological interest is hope. Believing that you can work things out and overcome your challenges. Hope works hand in hand with other three components to determine how you respond to failures. If you get up and get going or stay down and be defeated. This is in a nutshell, a quick and dirty summary of grit, the power of passion and perseverance. I want you to read this book, dedicate a month to read a chapter every two to three days to finish. I think it's going to be a piece of cake. Once you finish it, there's another window that is going to be open for you to discover language 
and to discover new assets for you to build on for your purpose, hoping that you can achieve the goal of mastery of English, focusing on your interests. Have a wonderful day.